done. It's a, a very hard piece, and you did it admirably. Um, I know the difficulties of it. Um, I'm going to urge you to um, go beyond um, even your limits, even your borders. I want it wilder. And to try it at the uh, thing, and uh, let me talk a little bit about it before we uh, play it again. The motives in this piece carry throughout that first movement. Um, for instance, uh, let's see. The, um, the, the first motive, sorry. That third, uh, D to F, uh, you will sort it out, but th that's the motive. It's not D. That's not it. It's the connection between them. Because, and I don't understand it, oh, uh, everybody does this, or I hear it very often, they slow the tempo. And what does he do? He adds a passing tone uh, between the D and the F. He adds an E flat. This E flat. So it urges more. And the same woodwinds. statement, so it's one statement till, again, that whole motive actually unifies the same. I find it's wild. There's something wild about this piece. First of all, the metronome marking. Not that one can do it. I mean, it's way too fast, uh, 138. But the, the message that it gives you is that it's a rocket. It's a comet from another world. It used to be played. But that ignored that motive. The F. Now there's another motive that's very, very important. That uh, semitone. And I will show you. For instance, you see those two together. And I think it should sound like a fountain. Um, so. Sorry. Um. And now here. Sorry. Am I in the wrong place? Yeah, I think I'm in the wrong place. Um, I did from the second time. To the to the E E D as opposed to E flat. go in G major now, and um, you hear the E going to the D, right? This is very unusual for him to choose the key of G major for the uh, second subject. It usually would be on the dominant, or maybe in certain cases in minor, it would be, let's say, a third higher um, D flat, in this case, maybe D major or something. It's very unusual to take the key of G major, but it allows him to do this, so that when you have this, they're contradicting each other. This is the way it's in the theme. And then, do you know where this figure comes from? Where is that? Yeah, it's the arpeggios that Now, the 
be one oasis of any time, but it has to have relation to the rest of the piece. You hear that? E flat to D. back. Now, in the fugue where it goes forward, I didn't understand why you slowed the tempo such here. Did you have a reason or it just happened like that? Oh, um, didn't realize that. You didn't realize that. Yeah, it, it got a bit slow. Um, because this passage actually is going to come again. Uh, do you know where? It's going to come again, but not with the same melody exactly. I'll, I'll show you in the course of the fugue. Uh, so, but anyway, um, what's the main voice leading? <laughs> Sorry. So it goes, and then. So it will be this. we do this little fugetta and the most important parts are this rising um, the third of course uh, that will connect it back together because there's a very strange marking there's a very unusual marking which which edition are you using by the way um, I'm just using the um, vertical uh -huh. that's not so trustworthy I would take some of the new editions like uh, Barry Cooper um, is a good addition. Um, Schenker on the whole is a good addition, but not in this place. Why? Beethoven has a very strange marking. Where is it? Uh, it's also wrong here. Um, here, which is a quarter note actually. He writes pew, and it's not pew crescendo. Let me demonstrate uh, what it is and why I think it's there. Um, E flat, F, G, and now A flat is a neighbor. That's the top voice. Now, the top voice gets to something else, and he writes pew here. And I think it's to stress the same mode of, of F, E flat, G, F, G, with the neighbor note of that. Sorry. Now the bass has the same motive. So we had from the top voice, the middle voice, and now the bass with this motive of E flat, F, G. Um, C minor, and it's still the same motive. E flat, F, oh, sorry, F, F, G, sorry. And now, because he's back at G major, it's not really a G major, but this G chord has persisted even though he's, uh, th the fugue was in E flat, it went to C minor, and it ends up, if you can imagine a D there. D flat. The same. G major, we have not left G, but now suddenly it's B, but I'm not so concerned, watch, it's a G flat in the bass. Mm -hmm. 
So this, with this G flat, we start the, the um, return to the recap, the return to the theme. So we've gone from G, G flat, and then we need to go to F. So how do we go that? We th go through an inner voice. So. that in a voice. That's why I wouldn't take so much time on the G, because it's coming from a G flat. And except for that G flat, we've always returned to G. And now he goes stepwise. And that's why I'm against that B flat. It doesn't follow the stepwise and the five to six progression, which will land you. You played, I think, correctly with an A natural. But anyway, that's one motion from this G flat to the B flat. Now that G flat is going to come back again in a spectacular fashion. By the way, this cantabile e legato, where is that in your edition? No. Where were we? Oh, we're here, the recap. Yeah, here. Um, it's not even here. Oh, here. Cantabile e legato. In the first edition, it's in very big letters as if it's a different tempo. Uh, it's like a different section. And so I play it like that. Um, something a little bit out of this world. Let's see. Um, that's also a point of contention. This G flat. But I think the G flat is so important in this piece, as I said, that's the turning point here in this movement and something that's going to happen right now. And also at the fugue, at the end of the fugue. That G flat, and that makes for the end. G flat is sort of a um, fly in the ointment because it doesn't allow it to completely relax. That G flat is always there. Okay, but now. Now this tempo change. We're in the key of G flat major. And it's idyllic, it's, it's like nothing before. Flat major owns this um, develop the recapitulation. Just for a moment, G flat major comes back only as a dominant, but that's a passing event. Why? Um, let's see, it goes five to six, five to six, five to six, and it goes back to um, B flat major. Let's go. Um, five to six. Five to six. <laughs> and we're in uh, the dominant of the main key. So it was really from G flat to F, but it couldn't go there directly. Like that. And then we're back on. Um, okay. So now uh, play it a little bit. Let's see what. Uh, how we can affect it. Will it be too difficult for you, or because you're not used to it, to play in this fast tempo? Oh, I, I can try. You can try. Good boy. <laughs> now, sorry, that's the problem with this. Uh, it took me a long time. Yeah, and I want to 
hear ba ba bum. Yeah, that's a theme. Take off da da dum bum and go to sleep. Da dum da dum da da dum bum. Da dum ba bum. Between D and F is a, an active movement. No, no, it's, it relaxes. What's happening? Don't relax. Yes. But all of that melodic, sorry, and legato. Beautiful. Woodwinds. No, it's slowing down. You see, sorry. It needs to keep that motion. Yes, go. That's it. Yeah, but the motive. Ding, boom, boom, boom. You see, um, the, uh, it's on the third and fourth beat of the. This is. Ding. That's the uh, third downwards instead of upwards. So it's the two motives, the third and the dum bum. Great, great. No, that was very good. If you think of an octave, it's spanning an octave from the beginning to the end of that passage, that'll give you the motion to, to do it. Just think of an octave. Now less, less now. Move, move. That's it. Great. from the motive. That's great. And now your attention should be to the C, B, D, C, E, D. Yeah, but in tempo. Yeah. The image, I don't want it to be finger work. Uh, sorry. An image of fountains. Because, you know, he wasn't able to work. He didn't write a piece for a year before this with such a depression. And then he was determined to... Uh, create and do something new. And this was a fresh inspiration. And that inspiration is in the piece. Yeah, it's too weak. Yeah, you're going to have to work. You're going to work because it's, it's too fingery. It's too... Um, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, more legato and more in one motion rather than. Da -da 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 -da. Sorry, and then. Because that's going. That's going to come back later. That's better. More. Sorry, and this would be more. No, you see, I, I don't hear that it goes from E, E to D, you see? Where is that? This E to this D. Ta-dum, let's go ti-dum, pa-dum. Even though it goes up? Because it goes from Yeah, it doesn't matter where it's. Oh, okay. It's not, 
I don't know, it's hard to, uh, to verbalize what's wrong with it. It doesn't flow. Exaggerated, but that's right. And not the E. And not the D the E. That's tension. Dito. Less and less and less. And at that point, you remember these fountain. And take time to. Yeah. Not too slow. It has to have some connection. It is. It is. A, I agree with you. It's a little bit slower, but it still has to have some connection with the rest of the movement. slow it's the same tempo but I want to hear that's good great now with the few A kind of half staccato. Now F. Yeah. E flat. Now F. That's why. G. A flat. No, sorry. And then, sorry. He writes pew for that voice. I think it's a quarter note, not, uh, that's in the English edition that they put, ba -bam. Yes, but I play it with the left hand. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Follow the middle voice. G, that's right. Yeah. 
accents all over the place. I want to hear E flat, F, G, main, no, those notes. the inner voice after this and then so that it goes in one voice do you know what I mean you mean in, in a yeah no here is the top voice do 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 right now as if as if uh, where are you Yes, as if you were going to go back. Be, um, yes, that's it. Because it's the same. Imagine a D there, and it will fit the, this D to the E flat, to the F, to the G. Da, 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 da. It's the same. Tempo, tempo. Yeah. It's like, tilo, tilo. Not the ti da 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 ti da ti 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 ti. Ti. Sorry. Not. Ti da 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 That's heaven. That's heaven now. It's not really heaven. <laughs> no, it's too loud. It's too loud. Yeah, okay, from the D. Ah, yes. <laughs> you got it. You got oh. it. So what, what's now? Yes. Not too slow. G flat in the bass. No, no. What is it? It's not too loud. Even forte, because it has a long way to go. No, no, it's suddenly softer, isn't it? Where are you? Yeah, yeah, it's suddenly softer in order to make that crescendo. No, it's A sharp. Yes. No, no, don't, don't do that. It, it, just follow the, the G, F, E, A. In one thing, don't stop for the G. You're, in your mind, this is still active. That low G flat is. Anticipation. Go on, anticipate. That G flat is very important. Okay, without bringing attention. Where, where are you? I would gradually get into that tempo, cantabile e legato. I'd get into it. So, in other words, a little bit here, a little bit less here, and nothing. Open up, heaven open up, back in tempo. moment he 
looks at the dark side. And that's finished. Back. Back to F. So this. Yes. A fountain. That's good. gonna have to work on that because it's it's not it's too noty and it doesn't have an atmosphere which is it's a very beautiful thing but if it's too fingery it, it doesn't sound right okay let's go on Going. which which note corresponds to the e flat before it's the g yeah, that's right Relax, sorry. Relax that. It disappears. Not, not fingers. Sing. Move, move. To that better. It's not a virtuoso thing. It's uh, acceleration, like like that. Uh, you know where it's. Ending. Yeah. Don't hit. Play legato. Yes. going to be able to get louder this um, yeah you have to crescendo all through this all through this Should I drop a bit here? no no uh, don't get too loud that's all drop. yeah but don't waste don't lose time there okay. you know without an accent that's it That's it. More now. Every one more. There's come that G flat again. Yeah. It's a, it's a motto of the piece. Go on. Sounds too ordinary, it's a miracle. That's nice. And this trill that can go on forever. Okay. Can that be exhilarating? That's it. More each time. Hold with the pedal. Here. Don't hit. Relax. Yes. Hold with the pedal. And now, very soft. It's too loud. Too loud. Yeah. 
ghost. Like you've seen a ghost. Spooked. Boom, 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 boom,